Hi there and welcome back to John's Waters Joint and welcome back to yet another sale. Now this is only my second time round and I can't remember it being this busy for sales. I don't know if you're getting sick and tired of sales but I'll tell you what, it's very very busy around here. So what I'm going to show you today, well I've got 10 watches for you. Some really good ones, new releases and I've got a few of them here for you as well including this very first one. And this is the brand new Sam Martin 62 Mass 39mm iteration of it. You can get it either on a Tropic strap or you can get it on that steel bracelet as well. And as you can see, you got a lovely enamel blue colour there as well. And that is the one that I have with me here. And here it is. It's a beautiful looking watch. I'll let you take it in just now. Have a good squeeze at it. As you can see, sapphire crystal, C3 loom. And it shines very brightly. 120 click unidirectional bezel. Ceramic insert. Polished sides. Polished sides to the bracelet. Brushed on top brushed on top on the watch itself you don't have the only a fly adjuster but i'm happy with that because i now get a perfect fit with this one whereas with the only fly adjuster i can get a perfect fit i'm actually one of those guys in between and the only a fly adjustment doesn't work for me so this is really good 39 millimeter diameter 13 millimeter thick nh35 movement great watch this one guys tell you what will be coming down to about 160 pounds in the sale and this is a real looker Something for the sale. Grab yourself one of these while you can, guys. Really good looking watch. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have a watch from Seastar. This is their version 2. It's the S434. If you buy with the NH35, you get a sapphire crystal. Conventional crown, but it is bigger. You do get a micro adjuster on the clasp. And you get BGW9 Super Luminova. You get lots of different finishes in this one as well. I went for the black and gilt, which is really kind of cool. £149 starting price, down to £127, less any further discounts. But if you go for the other version, then you're looking at the S4 C5. It has a Seagull Automatic ST2130 and it has a domed sapphire crystal and has a horn crown. Now with this one, you also get a see-through case back, but the case back is not sapphire. And with the Seagull version, you're paying quite a bit more as well, 197 as opposed to 149 So quite a bit of difference there. I've got this one in the conventional NH35 black and gilt. Here are the specifications for the one I have here today. NH35, 316L stainless steel, sapphire crystal, mineral crystal on the open case back, 39mm diameter, 12mm thickness, 200m low waterproofness, lug width of 20mm, lug to lug of 45mm and BGW9 Super Luminova. So the best thing to do is just show you this guy just now because we've got 10 washes to get through today so I'll do that right now. And here she is, this is the Seastern S434, the NH35 variant. And as you can see there, we've got a very, very slight domed crystal on this one. Very nice coinage bezel on this one too, 120 click unidirectional bezel. Really nice with the gilt option on this one too. Mainly brushed affair this one, polished down the sides, polished chamfered edge, see-through case back. Nice bracelet on this one, and as you can see, we've got that internal adjustment in there as well really kind of cool i got a perfect fit on this one yet again though as you'll see only two links removed in this one as you know my wrist size is 6.75 inches so anyone up to seven and a quarter you're fine larger than that ask for extra links they're getting quite bad at putting short bracelets on these things these days right across the board nice alignment there as you can see on the bezel as well this is a very nice looking watch and i shall put it on wrist for you and as you can see it's a lovely fit, and yet again, it's yet another beautiful watch, isn't it? Really nice looking piece. And there you can see that bracelet with the clasp there. Very smart with that Sea Stern logo on it. Very good. I do apologise for the noise in the background. That's my neighbour. He's mowing the lawn. He's just stopped just now. There we go. So that's the Sea Stern S434. Right, let's move on to the next one. Watch number three on my list is another brand new release. This one's from Suggest. Now, I normally don't go for chronographs in a dressy style, but this is a lovely looking homage of a very famous watch, and I have to have a look at this one properly, simply because of the dimensions. If we have a look here, you'll see the dimensions of this one are stating 38 millimeters in diameter. Now, that has to be on my radar. It has a dome sapphire crystal. It's got the Seagull ST1902 in it with the swan neck in it as well. Something very worth looking at, comes in a number of different iterations, anywhere from just under £200 up to £222 when you go for the bracelet option on this as well. Looks to be very smart. The S442, this is what it's called. They're looking to take off about £23 off of this in the sale. 
£23 is 10%. I'd certainly be looking at that. And we'll have a look down here. And there we can see those specifications there. Yeah, weight 135 grams or 70 grams if you go without the bracelet. 13.5 millimetres thickness. But 11 millimetres of that is only the case. The rest is that dome sapphire. And a really nice lug to lug of 46 there. Really nice looking options in this one as well. Wow, look at that. Either this one here on the left hand side or this one on the right hand side. Well, oh, you pay your money, you take your choice, don't you? That'd be quite a hard decision to make on that one. Really nice looking watches. The kind of stuff you want. They've got that on the fly adjustment as well you get from Suges. Very smart, very easy to utilise. And it looks as though it has decent loom on it as well. Definitely has to be on the radar at just under £200. It has an S crown for Suges. Makes sense. And you got a lovely turn down to those lugs as well. Very period correct looking. Yeah, it's definitely got to be on the radar, guys. Links below in the description. And as I always say, remember these prices do not include VAT or import charges. Always make sure you keep that in mind when you're looking at ordering these watches. So let's move on to the next one. Now, watch number four is a watch I mentioned before from Bolton. It's a Bolton chronograph of the Miota 6S21 movement inside it. It has a rotating quick reset bezel. And it's uh, got 50 meters of water resistance as well. It comes in two colors. You can either get it in black or you can get it in brown. As I said before, I think the color for this one is definitely the black. And I would actually like to see this one on a bund. Typical for the era as well and typical for the guy who used to wear this kind of thing. Really, really smart looking watch this one. Let's have a look further down here. It's the S205054. Quick reset chronograph 6S21 316 stainless steel. This one's under 40 millimeters, 39.8. Yeah, so it's really cool. And I looked a lug of under 47, 46.6, and it's only 11.1 millimeters thick, including that glass as well. It's got a sapphire crystal with AR coating, polished hands. It's got a brushed finish on it too. Yeah, very nice looking watch. This one, let's have a proper look. Yeah, it's some really nice looking pictures there. Yeah. I like the look of this one. So it's definitely got to be on the radar. It's starting off at £125. And if we go back up again, they're looking to take that down to at least 117 So you just maybe get it for just over £100. It's definitely one to look at. And it's one that's actually on the way. It's due in any day now. I did hope it would be here by today, but we've got a bit of a delay on postage-wise just now. So it's a wee bit of a concern just now. We've got two or three things that are missing, apart from the one that got stolen the other day. So, yeah, I'm uh, waiting on tenter hooks. One that definitely has to be on your radar, guys. So that's another one from Ball today. Now, you will have seen the pay promotion sticker at the beginning of this video. That's because two of these watches are watches I get in at a discount. I got both of them in from Watch Dives. I will be putting them in this AliExpress sale, but I'll also be reviewing them on their own. And I'll be leaving links to Watch Dives as well. No one has changed hands. I just got them at a discount. Simple as that. But they have to be on list. Simply because they're both new releases. You've seen the blue 62 mask with the enamel dial. And now we have this one. This is the Thorn A11. And this is an absolute cracker. So as I said, I have it here. I'll let you see it in a minute. You can actually get it also through the Time Dot Watch Factory store on AliExpress. And this one just now is at a reduced price of £93. And there's a possibility of getting further discount on that as well. You can get it in two iterations. You can get it in this black dial here as an enamel finish. Or you can get it in a camouflage dial as well. Not sure if that one would actually show up as well as the one that I have here just now. But you'll see it in just a second. If we just go down here, we can have a look at the specifications. So it's from Thorn. It's called the SHY034 or the SHY34. It's got the Seiko NH35 automatic movement inside it. So it does have a ghost position and it's in titanium. It's a really cool looking little watch. This one with allegedly 200 meters of water resistance, a double dome sapphire crystal with very high transparency. And you'll see that for yourself. The crown is screwed down and it has a canvas strap, which is what you would expect. The whole aesthetic of this looks World War II, World War I. It just looks really, really cool. Case diameter of 36 millimeters, but it looks smaller than that. The case length is 43 millimeters, i.e. the lug to lug. And it's nearly 14 millimeter thick, including that dome sapphire crystal. Yeah, bandwidth is 18 millimeter on this one as well. Really cool looking watch. What I'll do just now is I'll get this little watch out for you so you can have a look at it yourself. And here it is. Here's the A11 style of watch from Thorn. This is the Thorn SHY034 or the Shy 34. 36 millimeters in diameter, but it actually wears even smaller than that simply because of that high dome. And at the same time, it's 
very inboard the outer parts of the watch as well but it's an absolute beauty i'll actually get a bit closer so you can see up close and personal this is the plain version of the watch as you can see it's very very well done look at that legible at all times ultra clear really smart and under there you've actually got that bullet on the case back as well which is pretty much encapsulated in this little part of the strap as well all put together on one canvas strap here really smart the way they've done it and you'll notice there it's got polished lugs really nice little touch there i do like that and it looks to be polished on the outer side of the crown as well just adds a little bit of detail to the watch yeah just classic looking little thing and i love this little edge here imagine if you wanted to you could actually cut this off here because it would still be attached but why would you want to do that but yeah very very smart i'll just put it on the wrist just now and unlike another couple of watches we looked at earlier on you get plenty of strap but this one as you can see plenty there i'm almost in the last hole from the smallest so anyone even like two inches bigger than me they've still got plenty of strap there so plenty of strap i'm not going to tuck it fully in just now because i'm on camera but look at that i just love that six and three quarter inch wrist suits it absolutely perfectly i love this thing beautiful little watch worth a look i'll leave it there just now and you can have a look in the sale for yourself now this next watch up is another thorn and unfortunately i don't have this one in it's brand new to the party but they seem a bit late to this party themselves this is their homage to the tudor pelagos 39 and titanium and this one is titanium with a pt 5000 movement inside it and it's got bgw9 super luminova you get it in three different iterations here you can get it in black with these patinaed type of markers there then you get it in blue and then you get it in black and it's more traditional with the white markers on it i've ordered this one in the sale they don't do big sale prices but as you can see here they're going to knock it down by about 10 pounds or so so it represents a wee bit of value there pt5000 movement in it for 161 pounds coming down to about 152 less any further discounts if you want to go for the slita then you're looking at yet an extra 70 odd pounds here yeah this is 70 72 pounds or so so it's quite a bit of money but uh, i tell you what the bgw9 super luminova on this one looks really smart as well so i'm waiting for this one to come in as soon as it comes in obviously i'll get a review on it but uh, it looks pretty good so let's have a little look at the specifications here there's the three colors yeah and the blue one looks to be the pick of the bunch for me titanium shy 036 12 millimeter thick, 39 millimeter in diameter, and 200 meters of water resistance. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one coming in. Don't know much else about it, but as soon as I saw it, I thought, well, we know else is I tried all these Pelagos homages, and I wanted to try another titanium one to see if it's any better than the last batch that were out. And I have to say, it looks pretty good and looks very strong in the loom department as well. So, looking forward to this one. Leave a link below in the description. Next up we have another brand new release from Sam Martin and when I say brand new I just noticed it today it's two or three different colours with it and it's a GMT and I love the green version of this watch look at the depths of the colour in this thing with a sunburst finish this thing looks absolutely awesome it's an expensive watch of £266 but they're taking off quite a bit £247 in the sale so a good £20 odd off there plus there's going to be extra discounts off it as well looks very very smart if we come down here and have a little look at it oh yeah look at that sunray enamel green that looks to be the pick of the bunch that one has got c3 super luminova and the other two colorways have bgw9 super luminova if we go down further and have a look yeah look at that now sam martin are doing it this is what i've been waiting for for sam martin because some of their faces have been very bland so they're doing a lot of work on their dials now so i'm really pleased with that really quite nice let's have a little look down here to get the specifications yeah there's the green one with the c3 there's your blue one with the bgw9 as is the black and this is the sn 0136g gmt with the nh34 and of course 39 millimeters 47.5 lug to lug 13.5 sec which is not too bad for an nh34 that's not bad at all so that's what you're looking at sapphire glass ar coating 120 click unidirectional rotating bezel it's got bgwx1 
on the blue and black versions so it's actually a stronger version of BGW9 and you get AR coating on that glass as well slightly domed like to see that and let's see if they're saying anything about the bracelet sign crown same case pack as we're used to and it looks like they've got the on the fly adjustment as well so everything you want on there absolutely excellent that looks to be a cracker I would love to get that green one in but uh, yeah I've got to watch the pennies just now guys so another really cracking watch there sorry it's not one I've got in because it's just brand new hot off the press right let's move on to the next one now for my next watch some of you might recognize this watch I reviewed this watch two or three months back this is the Callison C8216M it's a new release from Callison not that it's been released in the last 30 days, it is 2 or 3 months old, but it's a watch that I think rivals the Steel Dive SD 1950C. Why does I say that? Well, because I own the SD 1950C and I put this alongside it and I prefer the looks of this and I prefer the weight of this on my wrist. So, I'm putting this one forward. Of course, if you want to go for the Steel Dive SD 1950C, that is your choice, but this one has a flash of red on the black version below the pinion. It's also got a nicer logo on the dial and I really think it's a sweet wearing watch and I highly recommend this one. So it's £68 just now. I'll be coming down to 60 and then you get your further discounts off of that. So it'll be around about the same price as an SD 1953 and I think it's a nicer option. So that's why I'm putting this one forward. It has three colourways. You get the black, which is the one that I reviewed. You get the black and gilt and then you also get a green one as well. So there's three good colourways with it. If we come down just a little further, I'll give you some of the specifications for it. 200 meters of water resistance, NH35 movement inside, of course. And you got BGW9 on the markers as well. And I tell you what, it was a very good performance in the cupboard of doom from this guy. And as you can see here, that's just a rendering, but I can say, hand on heart, it was pretty good in there as well. So, really good, strong performance from this guy. C8216M, Cyclops lens, sapphire glass. Screw down crown, screw down case back, 120 click unidirectional bezel. Of course, there's a ceramic bezel insert in there as well. Stainless steel strap, and it's got a really decent clasp on it as well. I had no problems with it. 40 millimeter in diameter as well, 13 millimeter thick, and 48 lug to lug. And on your wrist, you'll be around about that 150 grams as well. And to show you how much I like this watch, I still have this watch. I'll show you right now. And this is the Caddison C8216M and as you can see it's got a nice flash of red there below the pinion and you've got that Caddison logo above the pinion. It's got a nice Cyclops, really nicely done and it's very easy to read. Nicer weight than the Steel Dive as well. It wears better in my opinion on my smaller wrist and that's why I resonate with this one because I wear both of them now and again but this one gets more wrist time than the Steel Dive does. I like both of the watches, this one just is better for me and my smaller wrist. So if you're a smaller wristed guy and you're not sure about the steel dive, maybe this is an option and you're going to be round about the same price in the sale. There's only going to be £5 in it or so, but it's up to you. As you can see, it's still got those polished sides. Really finished well. Male end links, but as you'll see in a second, it really doesn't matter. My six and three quarter inch wrist. It's a good looking watch. In fact, I'll put it on my wrist after I show you the clasp. It's got that internal adjustment. It's one of those ones that you either love or hate. And I have always hated them. Whenever I got them in a Pagani design, it never ever worked. But but these guys seem to have it really, really sorted. And there we go. And it's a beautiful looking watch on my wrist. I'll just come out just a fraction there so you can see it. Look at that. Six and three quarter inch wrist. Wears beautifully. I've got no issues with this guy at all. Yeah, it's a lovely looking watch. And it's got a really, really lovely bezel on it too. Carison, I've got a really bad reputation for loosey goosey bezels, but this one is spot on. I really do like it. Right, on to the next one. Now, as you know, it wouldn't be a sale unless we had a Tandorio in here, and we do have a Tandorio in here. This is their version of the 50 Fathoms, and as you've seen, we had a 50 Fathoms on a couple of weeks ago from Thorn, who have been knocking out of the park. And straight after that, of course, Tandorio did their own version as well, so they've got many different options here. So as you can see, that's a more conventional one there just now. As you know, they don't do water resistance, but they do do looks. And they seem to have got the proportions more correct on the crown with this one, as opposed to the thorn. So it's got to be in there. This one is going to come down to run about 56, less any further discounts on it. So it has to be on the shopping list. They've been doing very good things. I missed out on the Serica 5C03 homage simply because I went the opposite route. I went for the Proxima. So this is a really good option. Let's have a look and see what the measurements are on this guy. So what have we got? We've got an automatic mechanical movement. I'll need to find out what that one is. 
206L stainless steel sandblasted finish, as you would expect. We're looking at 40mm in diameter, 14mm thickness, luminous markers, uh, double bow sapphire grass, I mean double dome, 200 meters of water resistance, capital letters, not. Strap is 20 millimeters wide, analog to lug a 50.5, so it's just inside the Thorn version, which was 51, and it's got a 120 click unidirectional bezel. And I would imagine that it's got some sort of ceramic bezel insert in there as well. Let's have a little look here. Yeah, NH35, that's what you want to hear, and I think it's got either a canvas strap or an nylon strap, sorry, or a rubber strap. You can Take your pick there. Luminescence for this one doesn't look to be too good there, uh, which would be a shame because the last uh, Tandorio that I had had really good loom. And uh, you might see something in just a second or so. But uh, there you go. So I don't have this watch here, obviously. It's a brand new release. Um, but uh, yeah, it's certainly one worth looking at in the sale. So that's why it had to be in here. So on to the final watch. Can you guess what it's going to be? So what is number 10 on my watch list today? Well, you'll be surprised at this. It was the biggest seller in the last sale from my subscribers by a country mail. You bought this in absolute droves. I couldn't believe how many sold, and it's still selling now. So I'm going to have to include it on this list. It is another Tandorio. It's a W10 in green. And this is the colour you were buying. I can't believe it. So this is the one with the NH35 movement in it with the date at 3. The big onion crown. It's 36mm in diameter. It's nearly 14 millimeters thick, but you guys love this. It comes on a canvas strap. It's as simple as that. You can get it in green, blue, and red. And the dial on this thing is absolutely gorgeous. You can get it Tandorio. You can get it non-Tandorio. There's so many options with this thing. But I'll tell you what, it's coming down to £31 in the sale coming up. You have to get one of these. It's just a fun option. And I thought I'd put it in there at the end because you guys love it. And if you guys love it, I'm going to put it in again. So... That is the last one on the list today. I'll leave a link down below for this number 10 option. I'll put it on my wrist just now for you. And there she is. Lovely little watch. 36 millimeters on a 6 and 3 quarter inch wrist. Love this little guy. So that's my last one on the list for today, guys. The sale does not start until the 23rd. So put it in your basket, see what happens, and then jump on it as soon as the sale starts. All right. Thank you very much for staying on this long. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much for your support. I'm going to leave it there just now. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell. We have fun here. It's been a long day, but I'll catch you again in the next one. Ta-ra for now.